So today we are heading out to Pelican Point. It is a place in Utah, west of Utah Lake, and it is just absolutely beautiful. You are going to notice there are some really pretty, pretty amazing rocks that are going to come out of this white rhyolite. And I will try and film some of the driving to the destination just so that you can get a feel for the area and where I'm going. Um, I've been really busy lately. I took a couple months off. I had summer vacation for myself with my family. And um, so now it's, it's that season again where I can go out and go rock hounding and go do the things that I need to be doing so I can stay healthy and happy. Um, for those of you that don't know, I had back surgery this year and I was in bed for about nine months and I gained a lot of weight and I'm just now in the process of taking it off. I'm down 15 pounds so far and I got a ways to go, but I want to get back into shape because I want to feel healthy, you know, it's really important. So what we're going after is called pyrite var limonite and all that means is there's a geoth geothite coating on the pyrite uh, cubes that we're going to be digging out and they're valuable um, I, I can sell them palm sized ones for around a hundred dollars so if you're interested let me know um, another thing that I haven't talked about much is patreon now, for those of you that don't know what Patreon is, it is a way to support YouTube creators like me, who are artists who don't necessarily make a lot of money off their videos from ad, ad advertising and, and such, which I don't. I mean, I, I make a little bit and it helps, but it, it doesn't pay all my bills. So if you guys were to say subscribe to my patreon and donate five dollars a month that would be added together with other people that donate five dollars a month and it would really really help me out a lot as far as being able to do video production um, I do want to get a new camera for filming and I want to get a, a better microphone so that you guys can hear me better so that's my first goals with the Patreon money. Um, you can look me up on Patreon. I am Tristan Safford Art. Uh, you can look me up also on Pinterest. You can look me up on um, Facebook that way. I have several Facebook groups. I have Rock Hounding for Beginners, Rock Hounding for, or Rocks, Rock Identification for Beginners is what it is, not Rock Hounding and I have quite a few other groups if you're interested I have selling groups I have identification groups and see we're coming up to the Salt Lake City and 215 exit you're gonna be seeing a big um, oil refinery great state. We are not experiencing any slumps. Our economy is good. We have good housing here. Um, there's lots of different rocks and minerals that you can get in Utah. And it's a really good place. If anyone is looking for a place to move, Utah, Utah would be a good place for that, for sure. All right, so I want this video to feel like you're just along with me for the ride. And we're just going to go have fun today. We'll be digging for just a couple hours and I will show you a lot of the different area, what we're looking for and how we dig it out. All right, so I'm going to shut my phone down because I'm coming into the city, the city of Salt Lake, and I don't want to be filming while I'm going through town. I want to watch traffic. All right, so I had a beautiful blue sky day 
And then all of a sudden, thank you Rocky Mountains, we're having a water storm. So a little bit of rain, get everything really nice and muddy. This road is destroyed. But I wanted you guys to see where I'm traveling to. It's all it is, it's just a little tiny trail, a little four by four trail. And I'll just film this drive for you. It's really pretty. Maybe we'll see some rainbows today because it sure is nice up here. Sure glad I got my truck. Don't worry, I'm not watching through the viewfinder, so hopefully this video turns out really well and you guys are getting a great view, great experience of actually traveling with me out into the mountains of Utah. Now these mountains, a lot of them are pushed up, ancient seafloor, so there's a lot of um, limestone and calcite deposits in in the mountains here. There are uh, a lot of fossils, crinoids, and uh, stuff like that. I'm just about to the pull up area. It's coming up soon. Here we are. And looks like my friends are here. So that's good. Woohoohoo! Yeah, buddy. Go. Oh, I just read the read the lines. It's a bumpy ride, guys. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. There's the storms. Beautiful view of, that's Utah Lake. <laughs> 
So you can see we are directly on the west side of the lake. And the mountains are beautiful. And then over here, this is where um, we'll be digging. Let me, actually, I'm going to get turned around. My friends are here with their kids. So this rhyolite, this white deposit, this is what we're going to be digging in. I'll film more in a minute. Right, guys so it looks like a rainbow's come out so maybe the storm is passing and we'll be able to continue digging but this is what we're digging in this is rhyolite yes you're gonna be on YouTube <laughs> yep you sure are you're doing good Okay, Why so this is what we're what we're digging into. Except the fear out here. Not... So this is the rock that we're digging out. This is a rhyolite rock. And I will show you some of the specimens that we're taking out of here in a minute. But I just want you to see a beautiful lake. A rainbow. It's a rainbow. Beautiful rainbow. Yes. And then that side goes off to the desert. Pretty neat view. All this land gets tore up looking for pyrite. It's a good video of just how hard we're working, what we're digging in. So this whole little section here is full of pyrite. All right, guys, so here we are. This is the location for the banded calcite that comes from around here. It's root beer color. See, there's a piece right here. This stuff. This has been sun bleached, so here's some more with some color. If I can get it to focus on just this. But it comes from right over that little hill. We'll walk up there. I'm out here all by myself. I left the other guys over at the other spot because they were still digging. Here's a nice piece. Just the banding. So it's just calcite. I'm out of shape, guys. Sorry. Huh. So right here is the location of the great big rock for the onyx. Someone's come in and buried it. And we've worked this pit for a long time. It's disappointing to see that someone came in and buried it. Makes me mad. Alright, 
well, if it doesn't belong to you, don't bury it. This is everybody's land. And everybody should be able to go rock hounding here without having to dig extra. Looks like someone came in and just buried it all. I'll see if I can find a few good pieces to bring out of here. All right. Hey guys, so yesterday on our rock hounding adventure, uh, my camera ran out of batteries and died. So I will be showing you all of my awesome specimens from that. After we go rock hounding today, we're going to go get some selenite crystal blades, but we're stopping first at Bryson's Rock Shop. We're going to check it out. You can go online and check them out as well. Bryson's Rock Shop .com. Hey guys, we're back. We're heading towards, uh, what's the name of that place, William? Roswell Point at the Spiral Jetty on the Great Salt Lake. We're going to go get some gypsum crystals and uh, see how that goes. You can see it's a cloudy day today. And we're heading in the opposite direction that we went yesterday. We're going north and we're going to head out down um, a long windy road. It's supposed to be an hour and a half drive. We'll see how long it actually does take us to get there with Williams driving. We'll be there in no time. Are you excited, honey? Yep. Awesome. Me too. Okay, we'll check back with you when we get there. Hey guys, so we are about halfway. I just wanted to show you the view, what we're traveling through. Just a lot of open, wide open land here. It's very beautiful. It's turning out to be a pretty nice day too. Hey guys, so one of the places that you're going to pass on the way out to the Spiral Jetty is the Golden Spike National Historic Site. It's a uh, pretty neat. I'll see if I can find anything else to show you on the way up. Alright guys, so we're just coming up and over the hill. You can see that the sky is clearing away and we're getting some sunshine and there you can see the Great Salt Lake coming into view down there. So that's where we're going. Pretty gorgeous. Let's see if Good view of all the bugs splattered on the windshield. Are you having fun, honey? Yes, I am. That sounded canned. I am having a wonderful time all right. with my baby. All right. He made it here. You can hear Williams putting rocks in the truck bed. That's the spiral jetty out here. You have to Google Google map it. To see it but we're gonna go down right there and dig up some gypsum crystals hey so I am back home and I wanted to show you what um, the pyrite cubes look like the bigger ones it's pretty fun when you pull one of these bad boys out of the rhyolite And here is one of the gypsum crystals we dug out. See, they're really glassy. They're sharp as a razor. I got my hands all cut up yesterday and so did William. But they just they're in the ground in the clay like this and you have to dig down deep around them and pull them out. This one is broken. I will show you my bucket full of stuff I need to clean still uh, right now. Here is the bucket of crystals. 
you can see they're still covered in the salt lake salt and mud. They need to be cleaned, but they're absolutely gorgeous. So if you're interested in purchasing one of these, uh, you can go to my Dremel Lapidary by Churston Safford Art on Facebook. And I also am doing a drawing on there for 20 slabs of lapidary material. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed going out with me. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, everybody. Thank you.